Hi, good morning everybody out there in Facebook world. This is Sean Sutton right here in Lakeway. Um, I have a kind of a unique interview this morning that we're going to do. I'm going to interview the Chief of Police of Lakeway, um, Mr. Um, or Chief Radford. We're starting early today. He's busy. He was very kind enough to give me a few minutes. So if, you, if you're doing something, stop what you're doing and check this out. This is pretty important and there's a lot of really cool stuff going on in Lakeway. Come on with me. Okay to come in? Yes, sir. All right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. How are you today? I'm well. Good. Um, if you want hey, to say hello to everybody out there good in morning. Facebook world. And, That's right. Um, we're really fortunate this morning to get to meet with um, Chief Radford, and I wanted to, I just wanted to thank him personally to you do bet. that and, and maybe talk a little bit about what's going on in Lakeway and some of the things you all are doing. You bet. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome. Um, you know, we're, we're very fortunate out here in the city of Lakeway that we um, have a very aggressive uh, community type uh, policing model. Um, we're fortunate that we were one of the first to put body cameras on our officers back in 2011. We were one of the first to certify all of our officers as mental health officers. We've got a model wellness program mm -hmm. where all of our officers get a uh, physical uh, fitness test and a psychological review every year. So in, vain, in the line of being innovative and always uh, forward thinking, we continue down that model with um, our community policing. And so doing things like this for us is always a pleasure and uh, exciting to do. So thank you for joining us. And, uh, very, very, very cool. I have a, um, a son-in-law that's a policeman in San Diego and it's, it's, it's an honor and it's real important to, to know about our local police department. And you guys are growing and our community has grown significantly Lakeway's growing you know by leaps and bounds you guys do an amazing job taking care of it and I see you at a lot of the a lot of the social events and it's it's really reassuring it's it's, it's nice to meet a lot of the officers we go with you know to go visit coffee with the cops and stuff like that in the morning which is pretty cool if you could could you tell us a little bit about the new police station well the new police department is uh, is going to be a wonderful facility we were so fortunate to uh, have the bond go out and have the citizens pass the bond for us. Um, it is a 30,000 square foot facility that's right at Loman's Crossing and Loman's Spur. I think it's a 1941 Loman's Crossing is going to be the address. Uh, we're looking to occupy the facility probably in March, uh, April of next year. Wow, it's coming uh, right along. First long. quarter, yeah, first quarter of next year. Um, so very exciting, a lot of good things happening there. <clears throat> and as usual, that like you like to hear in the building business, you're on time and under budget. So right. uh, those are always positive things. So. Well, absolutely. I wouldn't expect anything less from the most awesome police department in the world. Thank you. That's very, very cool. Um, some of the things that are that are kind of interesting with that new police department, that's going to give you a lot better a lot better place to to basically conduct business and, and take better care of the officers, and in turn be able to take better care of of our citizens. Correct? Absolutely, absolutely. So you you guys have some meeting rooms there, and well, we'll have for the very first time we'll have a, a training center that we haven't had before. We'll have a real crime lab which we haven't had before to be able to process and do forensics uh, processing. We'll have a computer lab um, to or do real forensics on computer equipment, cell phones, things of that nature that we haven't had the opportunity to do before. Um, specifically designed interview rooms, uh, a soft interview room for kids, uh, meeting rooms which we have not had. We'll be able to actually have our emergency operations center confined within the walls of the police department where now it's not. Um, so there's a lot of advantages to having a specifically designed building, which is part of the reason that it was the expense that it was, because a lot of people don't understand uh, what goes into and the components that go into creating a building right. uh, that is specifically designed for policing. Right. It's very different than any other building out there. So, um, But I can say that we have one of the best architects in the country that has uh, partnered with us and one of the best uh, uh, builders in spa glass. Um, Berkeley Sergeant Wigginton is our architect, Spa Glass is our, our builder. Uh, we couldn't be any more lucky than, than to have those two. You know, on, the, on that same note, um, being a, a dad of four, and I've, I've got one teenager left at the high school, um, it's real important to have, you know, just a, a real good community and, and, and student and police relationship, and you, yes. you definitely have that. I mean, I've, I have a daughter that, that got to meet you guys at a personal level um, from a, one of those, you know, teenage party type of things. and. And it worked out really well, and it was, um, you know, it's, it's um, the police department's a, a huge thing in, in as far as our respect and our need and just keeping our community on the right level. Yeah. And you're really active in that, and I really appreciate that. Sure. And I think a lot of the people here in Lakeway do, too. We've got a great, great community. 
on that note, being that we were, you know, people are doing their thing this morning, and I was fortunate enough to get a few minutes of your time, and I know you have a lot going on today. Could you, is there any little message that, I mean, we've got prom coming up and stuff like that that you'd like to kind of give the community, and then and maybe we'll kind of end on that. Would that be good? Sure, absolutely. You know, again, what I, I think people kind of forget is sometimes they don't realize Lakeway is a city, and it's a big city. It's the third largest community in uh, Travis County. We wow. answer about 20,000 calls for service a year. We have 53,000 cars a day going up and down 620. Um, you know, we're, we're constantly on the move, constantly a lot of things going on. But we don't lose sight of the idea that we have to interact with people, that leadership is based on relationships and good policing is built on relationships. Mm -hmm. So having these kinds of relationships that you and I can have uh, are extremely important, and I do thank you for that. As far as our, our last message, uh, this time of year, it's getting towards graduation time, and I, I really want kids to understand and, and parents to understand that um, we want to have a safe end of the year. So I know the propensity or the desire to have parties at your houses uh, that include alcohol. Uh, I just need you to know that that's illegal and that we, uh, we don't have much tolerance for that. Uh, we want to make sure that our kids all get to graduate and go on to do other great things in their lives. And uh, though the idea of having a party might sound like a good one, uh, I want it to be done responsibly. Uh, so please keep that in mind. And to our kids out there, be safe. Enjoy your last few months in high school because the rest of your life is right in front of you. And we sure want to escort you into that and, and be, uh, be partners in that and on the good side of things. Absolutely. So thank you, Sean, for your time. And uh, we do appreciate it. Absolutely. You know, that, that's, a, that's a beautiful <clears throat> note to end on. You guys, you know, have a good time and awesome with all our new seniors graduating and stuff. But definitely, you know, you guys keeping an eye on that. It makes a big difference to people like me and, and other people with, with you know, families going into, coming from work or wherever they're doing to not have other people on the roadway that are intoxicated. That's really critical. I appreciate that very much. My family lives here. I had two boys. I've lived it. I know, I know what it's like. So. Right on. Right, right. Okay, you guys, there you go. Um, brief brief um, talk this morning at um, Lakeway Police Department with um, Chief Radford. Yes. Appreciate you very well, thank much. Thank you again. You bet. Appreciate it. Okay, you Thanks guys have everybody. a great rest of the week. See ya. Have a good weekend.